<laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's on there. I want to talk about this Tory Lanez, Meg Thee Stallion situation that has blown up once again. Now, there was, I believe, news that the charges against Tory Lanez have been dropped. Come to find out that it was false, it was fake news, right? Not only that, right? It went viral, everybody's talking about it, people are going at Meg Thee Stallion. Instead of Meg Thee Stallion using her lawyer and her legal team to speak on this, she does what you know, I think people have expected her to do. She ran to social media to go at Tory Lanez, who his people, not necessarily him, denied that the charges have been dropped, right? And once again, Meg Thee Stallion proves that she lives for social media. If you know it's fake, Meg, Tory Lanez's people is coming out and saying the charges haven't been dropped. It's, it's fake news, right? And But you still decide to go in a Twitter rant, which culminated in you saying that he's going to jail. This female had a complete and utter meltdown. And it's due to the fact that she might not be honest and she may end up losing this, okay? Because once again, Tory's team is saying this is not true. You're saying, I, mean, I guess you're saying not only is it not true, but you're going on this Twitter rant because you look at the comments on social media, you're thin skinned, you're, you're looking at what people are saying and you're running to Twitter when all you had to do was look at the fact that his people are saying this ain't true. And by the way, she didn't press charges on him. So how is she going to drop them? <laughs> but anyway, let's get to this article from Complex. All right. It says, despite what you may or may not have been, uh, may have been circulated in the in the few viral tweets, the charges against Tory Lanez in connection with the incident with Megan the Stallion have not been dropped. The tweets in question put forth a screenshot of a Los Angeles County area court website as proof that the charges to which Lane's previously pleaded not guilty to have been dropped. Notably, even if any of these charges have been dropped, it wouldn't have actually been Megan dropping them as stated in multiple uh, tweeted claims this week due to the fact that Lane's was charged by Los, uh, Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office in the case. But you have Megan the Stallion going on a Twitter rant because she thinks that people believe that she dropped the charges when that's just not the case. And again, you need to let your legal team do the talking for you. But because she is obsessed with social media, she's obsessed with how she looks on social media and what other people think of her, which is why I truly believe that not everybody can handle fame. You know, fame ain't for everybody. I truly believe that. I believe fame is not for everybody. It just isn't. Now, more on the article. It says, per a report, report, report for a, per a rep for the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office, the next court date for the case is now set for February 25th. It keeps getting pushed back, seems like. Following the original uh, reported hearing date at January 20th, when asked for additional comment, a rep for the Clara Shortridge Fultz Criminal uh, Justice Center Court also confirmed that new case date, adding that the criminal case summaries being spread via uh, screenshots typically provide only limited information. Also on Thursday, Rep for Lanes responded to the inaccurate viral reports. A rep for Tory Lane says it is not true that charges against him in the Megan Thee Stallion uh, case were dropped. The blog that posted the info was wrong. I assume the docket hasn't been updated. The next hearing date is in mid-February. That's according to his rep. So why is Megan Thee Stallion going on this rant against Tory Lanez? Playing the victim card. Like, wh what are you doing? Don't you have a legal team or PR team? You're with Rock Nation. Haven't they hooked you up with the right people around you but let me guess no you still got the same people you had around you before you got there 
you want to be your own spokesperson because you care what people on social media think that's the problem and i told you fame ain't for everybody and fame ain't for is it for meg the stallion this twitter rant just showed you that she's somebody who's extremely thin-skinned and she's somebody who's extremely worried that once the details come out that she's going to look bad that's what this looks like anybody with some common sense would tell her listen don't do that don't do that you you looking bad out here and i think what really pissed her off was the fact that you had tory lane's previewing music instead of tory lane's hiding somewhere not being seen he's actually interacting with his fans on twitter he's posting about you know new music or new videos and i know that angers her because for so long women have been able to accuse men of things and men sort of bowed out and they stayed out of the way or they apologized and they never really lived life they never really fought back and this is one of the clear instances that you're seeing especially in the entertainment industry because we, we all know what happened you know, with the Me Too era and all that. A lot of guys just, you know, they take the L and move on, even if they're innocent. Even if the information wasn't totally 100%. But the fact that Tory Lanez isn't doing that, it bothers her. It really does, because she assumed that once she said what she said, that he would be in full apology mode. He would be, quote unquote, owning up to what he did. He would sacrifice his career to make her look like she's the victim. And that has not happened. That has not happened. It's because Tory feels wrong. He feels wronged in that situation too. But again, the details will come out eventually. Somebody's gonna be right and somebody's going to be wrong. Now let's look at these tweets, okay? <laughs> the first one, well, she had a couple of, I'm gonna read just a, you know, the ones that's a little more PG, right? Trauma is real, and I'm still traumatized from losing, well, she spelled losing, my mom, dad, and one of my grandmothers. And on top of that, uh, this particular incident. I'm not open about anything on the internet right. <laughs> Usually because I like to keep my emotions private, but I'm reaching my limit. I'm going to keep staying positive. What are you reaching your limit about, Meg? The information was proven to be inaccurate nobody is, is saying that this case is over that anything has been dropped but you're assuming that as if you know that something else is going to happen all right the next tweet here says at this point i'm getting annoyed stop believing everything you read on the MF internet. Imagine how I feel waking up every day seeing people lie and turn my trauma into a joke. The whole team figures out, or that whole team figures out ways to create doubt with my story every week and the media eats it up. I don't think that's the case, Megan. I really don't. I think you're projecting. I, I really do. I think you're projecting. The media has been on your side, Megan. You've been winning awards. You've had people trashing Tory Lanez. You've had other rappers, male rappers, coming to your defense. So you have had people on your side. You have had the media on your side. They, they've been on your side this entire time. But you're the one who came, who originally, when this whole situation started, you said nothing, right? You really didn't say anything. You wanted to move on. Well, well, when Tori was looking to move on, you was like, ah, forget that. Because see, Megan, you're getting bad advice. Tori Lanes is getting better legal advice than you are. You're not getting very good advice and it shows. You're your own spokesperson. Shouldn't you have a publicist? Shouldn't you have somebody who do public statements for you? Shouldn't your legal team be doing the talking? No, you're doing the talking on Twitter because you care what these people think. You're saying that people shouldn't believe everything on the internet, but here you are on Twitter going off because you're upset because an inaccurate report came out and you need to understand this. 
Like truly, you need to understand this. The more you talk, the more guilty you're gonna make yourself look. Cause as if, it's almost as if you're preparing for the inevitable. Because again, there's gonna be somebody that's right, there's gonna be somebody that's wrong. And it seems to me that you believe that you're gonna be on the wrong side of this. And you're, you're looking for any reason to get toward a back off, to what, plead guilty? To take the loss in a situation and he's not doing that? Because again, you can move on, all right? You have the court of public opinion, especially in the media. The media is not on Tory Lanez's side at all. They've been on they've they've been on your side this entire time. I don't believe that they're just they're just out to get you, Meg. I think this is all in your paranoid head. I think Megan is very paranoid because she knows that the truth's gonna be out here and the facts are gonna be put out here. And the truth is gonna be somewhere probably more in the middle than anything. There's a lot going on in that situation. Your own ex-best friend refuses to implicate Tori. What does that tell you? Is she, and you turned on her. And you turned on her. That's the one person, maybe two, that could help you in this situation. But you don't want to mend those bridges. Why is that? Why is that? And she still won't implicate you, which says a lot. It says a lot. But we will see. We definitely will see.